What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be heading to a local pet store near me and we're going to be picking up a fish. I don't know what kind of fish I want yet. That's why we're going to head to the pet store, look around. And if I see something I like, we're going to get him and add him to the new 200 gallon saltwater aquarium. We only have a few fish in there right now. And I'm actually looking for a fish that like moves in the top water column. Just because a lot of the fish I have right now, they actually hide under rocks and stuff like that. We're going to swing by my brother's house, also known as Salt and Peppa, and pick them up. And they're going to come along with us. So stay tuned and I'll see you at the pet store. Here we are. Here we are. Yo, no, that's this is nice. actually Yo, salt, look at, salt look and pepper's Yo, first look time here. Look, 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 look at the red tail catfish right there. Really think I want to get one. And look at I had a jaguar cichlid. It sort of looked just like that. And a red tail too. Look at the ballast shark. So many sick, fish here. It's insane. Literally just all fish tanks. We got salt water over here. You guys obviously know of Mark Sark. Been here so many times. But they haven't, so I wanted to take them here because they they just got a nice fish tank, and we're going to be getting some fish for their tank as well in this video. So this is the trigger fish. His colors are amazing. Kind of get a good shot of him right here. And he just looks really cool. So I think we're going to get this guy right here. But before I make my final decision, I want to look through other tanks. And then if he's the best one, we're going to get him. Hey, Salt, what do you think about that fish? Honestly, bro, it looks like my ex-girl. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this tank is so sick. It's just like a massive predatory tank. We got flower horns, a big catfish, yeah. some barbs, fallow sharks, and even a frontosa. And a nice red tail right there too, that's sick. And over here is some saltwater fish. No, I wouldn't get any of those. We got some eels. Oh, that's a cool eel right there with the it's cool, but we just got one of those guys and he's doing great. We got some Nemo fish. I do plan on getting like a 40 gallon tank with community fish, salt water, maybe even seahorses. Oh, we got some butterfly fish right here. Oh, Another cool little water. puffer. He's sick. This, this is exactly what I wanted to get. This is what I'm talking about. Corals and stuff like this with some Nemo fish and dories. Wow, look at how sick this tank is. This is all corals right here. It's so sick. I want to get definitely want to get some corals for our saltwater aquarium soon. You can actually see them through here. Kinda can see them. Not really. Pepper, what, what you looking at? The angelfish. I mean, I have a bigger one in my tank now, but these are quite small. We're gonna get some fish. Cause we're gonna be filming. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get a red tail for sure. So I think I made my decision, and we're going to be getting this trigger fish. I just love the colors on him and the personality. He's just, just like always moving around and that's what we need. A lot of the fish in our aquarium right now hide and stuff. So we kind of need some movement in the mid water column. So that guy's going to do the job. We're going to get him bagged up and then head home. So actually I think Salt and Pepper are getting a fish. So we're going to, probably going to film them putting it in their aquarium. And then we're going to take this guy home. Yo, ask me guys, do you think I should get this chameleon? Come here, really? look at this feeding. Look at this. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Here he comes. You're going to a new home, buddy. Bigger tank, too. This is probably like a 120. The one at, or 150. The one at the house is 200. So he's going to have a big home with some friends. He's all alone in this tank. There's nothing in here. Just him. He's going to dodge it. There he goes, into the net. Oh my gosh, look at all these. There he is right there getting bagged up. So sick, I can't wait to put him in the aquarium. That's a beautiful salt pepper. What are you getting? Okay. We're getting a nice red tail catfish. We're, We're gonna, gonna get a red tail catfish. Frog. What are you gonna do when it gets bigger? Uh, we'll probably put it in the pond. Okay. We're gonna put it in the pond once it gets a little bigger so it doesn't eat the other fish. Yeah. And uh, what is he getting over there? What are you getting, Mr. Cameraman Calvin? Yo, my name ain't Cameraman Calvin, <laughs> Also, if you guys wanna see a video of me buying like some cool invertebrates, like these guys right here, these are starfish, really cool. There's one right there on the glass. We got our little trigger fish in his bag and we're gonna head home and put him in his new aquarium. 
I'm so happy. I really wanted this. Thank you. What did you guys get? Um, Red Tail oh, Cat. Red Tail Cat. Uh, what did you get? Um, I think a shovel nose. Fish on the shovel nose. And Mrs. Salt, what did you get? I paid for it. These are my kids. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a red tailed catfish. What do you think about it? What is it? It's a red tailed catfish. What do you think? Any name suggestions? None? No, no, no. I never seen anybody with a catfish. What should I name them? Nothing? No. Nothing. Alright, buddy. Have a good one. Appreciate it. And we are back at the house with our trigger fish. There's a saltwater tank. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There it is. Okay, we got our bumblebee right here. We gotta add some water to the tank. But our bumblebee is right there. Pufferfish. Pufferfish is right here. And of course, the beast, the lionfish. We got our bucket right here. Then we got our line right here to drip it into the bucket. We're gonna slowly add some water from this tank to this bucket. And then he's going to his new home. All right, we got you guys set up right there. Let's get our bucket ready. Take our little trigger fish right here, unbag him. There he is right there in the, in the bag. He's gonna look so cool in here. There we go, we got our drip acclimation line set up. Slowly adding some water from the tank along with the water that he came in. And that's slowly just gonna make it the same temperature. Okay guys, our trigger fish is ready to go in his new home. This thing is going to look so cool in here with the bumblebee grouper right there in his little hole. Our lionfish. Um, I think he sees like a shrimp or something that he's trying to get. I'm not sure, but he's at the top right there. He definitely sees some type of food that he wants because, and I'm almost positive it's a shrimp that he's chasing. I don't know. Or he's just, oh look, a snail. Hopefully these snails don't get out. There's no lid on here. But yeah, there's our lionfish. He's hunting right now for some little shrimps that we did add here. And our bumpy grouper is going to have a new friend. All the fish actually are going to have a new friend. I'm going to set you guys up while we add him to his new home. Let's do it. All right, so we're just going to wet our hands, make sure we don't take the slime coat off of him, and then we're just going to pick him up very slowly, just like that. This is the safest way because they do have barbs, and if you have a net, you don't want him to get all tangled up. There he goes. Whew. Look how cool he looks. Hold on. i got to show you guys this. Look at how... Cool that looks, and now the bumblebee is just gonna check him out for a little, make sure he is not food, which he is not food. So he's coming into his home, so of course he wants to check out who it is and make sure he is not a predator or food. So he looks really good in the tank, though, really good. His colors are popping right now. Let's see if we can see it a little better. Yeah, that thing's so sick. My mom is gonna love that thing because there was really no fish that you can see like swimming around. The grouper hides in this rock all the time. He only comes out when he's hungry. The puffer fish is out a lot. Um, the lionfish, he hides a lot too, only comes out when he's hungry. And of course, our eel and all the shrimp and stuff, they're hiding. I don't know where the eel's at, but guys, look how cool this tank is coming along. We got our bumblebee grouper, our puffer fish, our trigger fish, and then the lionfish. It's tank. All right, name a better looking fish tank on YouTube right now. I'll give you five seconds. That's what I thought. There is no better looking fish tank on YouTube. This is the best of the best. Who has bumblebee groupers? Who has puffer fish? Who has trigger fish? Who has lionfish? Who has eels? We have it all, and this is only the beginning. We're gonna be getting some cool fish for this thing. And yes, I know these fish do get large, like our little groupers checking them out. What is this? Hey, hey, hey. They'll do that at first. Once they get used to each other, it will be okay. He, was, he does that to everything that comes in the tank. Okay, so you guys just saw we put the trigger fish in his new home. But I did also get a thing of shrimp. I didn't film that just because there was so much going on. I probably got like five dozen shrimp and I'm gonna be adding them to the aquarium right now. Right here in this bag is five dozen shrimp and they're gonna go in the tank. Yes, yeah, some of them might get eaten, but most of them will get to hide in the rocks, clean up the algae problem and also clean the sand. So let's add them to the aquarium right now. Look at this. Our trigger fish is destroying them. Oh, oh, our lionfish. Oh, we marked one. Even our puffer. Our puffer's getting them. Oh, bumblebee grouper. What else? What else? Oh, our puffer fish is 
destroying them. Oh gosh, he just spit up one. Probably about a dozen just got eaten right now. But um, watch this. Boom! Oh, that was sick. So you guys are getting a little live action right now. But anyways, I'm not gonna show too much about that because I do want to make a video on getting, on catching actually. And we're gonna catch way bigger shrimp, so it's more of a challenge for the fish, not like these little guys where they really can't defend themselves. A lot of them, like I said, get to hide and get away from the bigger fish, but some of them, yes, they will get eaten. Anyways, I do plan on doing a video just about feeding these guys some shrimp and maybe even crawfish. What about if we fed the bumblebee grouper a crawfish? Um, bumblebee groupers love lobsters. The closest thing to a lobster is a crawfish. So if you think we should get a crawfish and feed our bumblebee grouper, even the puffer fish and the trigger fish, get this video to 10,000 likes. No, I'm not saying I won't feed them or anything like that if you don't get it to 10,000 likes. I feed them every day. I feed them frozen krill, frozen shrimp, frozen fish. I'm just saying if you want to see a live crawfish feeding to the bumblebee grouper, get this video to 10,000 likes. Anyways guys, that is our new trigger fish. That puffer fish, we actually got it from the same exact tank and place that we got the trigger fish from. So they were buddies before, they know each other. But anyways, that is all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram, popping up right here. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. See you!